Konnichiwa minasan. Welcome back to the channel. I am some. I am Pratip Sharma. Today we are going to talk about two kanji. One is moon month, and second is kanji of tree. So first of all, let's talk about kunyomi and onyomi, about which we couldn't. I couldn't explain yesterday. Kunyomi is in simple words is. Uh, Ch uh, Japanese characters, Japanese readings, or we can say that kunyomi taken from Japanese culture, and onyomi is taken from Chinese readings or Chinese script. This kanji have four strokes, which are showing first ichi, ni, san, yon. This is the final kanji, which is completing fourth stroke. Let's practice. Ichi, ni, san, ya. Let's do it again. Ichi, ni, san, ya. This is the final stroke. Let's make a single only. Ichi, ni. san yo if we will write this kanji without any suffix or prefix first sorry let's talk about the kunyomi and onyomi of this kanji kunyomi of this kanji is suki means japanese reading is suki and onyomi are the getsu which is written in katakana and gatsu gatsu is a suffix and getsu is uh, prefix or suffix both we can write with both but gatsu is prefix uh, suffix only so if we are writing this kanji without any suffix or prefix then it would be read as suki which is having two meanings the moon a month focus again if you are writing it without any suffix or prefix it would be read like suki the moon a month second if we are using it as a suffix after one then it will be pronounced as ichi gatsu Gatsu is the onyomi. Here I have told you that it would be used as suffix. So here it is used. Here ichi gatsu, which means January. Third meaning is getsu yobi. Getsu. This is used as suffix. Getsu. yo and b we have also yesterday uh, we have read about this kanji yesterday i'll share the link in the description that why it is reading as b so getsu yo b is monday so third meaning of this kanji is getsu yo b monday and the fourth one is now again we are using it as suffix prefix sorry i'm sorry it is using it we are using it again as suffix ichi ka and this so we will read it about like in countings we will read it as ikka not ichi ka so ikka getsu is one month um 
if we are talking about the duration then we will read it as getsu and uh, if we are talking about month uh, like january february then we will read it as gatsu so our next kanji is kanji of tree let's uh, talk about the kunyomi and onyomi of this kanji kunyomi of this kanji is ki japanese reading is ki and onyomi of this kanji is moku and boku moku and boku this kanji is also having four strokes like the previous one ichi ichi ni ichi ni san ichi ni san yo let's practice with ourselves ichi ichi ni ichi ni san and the final reading is ichi ni san yo this is the kanji of ki once more ichi ichi ni ichi ni san ichi ni san yo ichi ni san yo this is the final kanji so uh, in this kanji if we are writing it alone without suffix or any prefix then it would be read as a key and key has a meaning of a tree key means a tree so this is the kanji of tree basically this is the kanji of tree next if we are using as a prefix so this and we are writing here mura so it would become kimura kimura you can see which means which is a japanese surname like uh, we have here in so many conversations kimura san so this is the kimura and the final meaning of this kanji is here also we are using as a prefix this and yo b so here the, the meaning of this kanji is moku this is the uh, onyomi here moku and last is yo b moku yo b means thursday and i'll share the link in description for about this kanji detail of this kanji b that why we are writing it as b so let's revise again this kanji have four strokes and kunyomi and onyomi of this kanji are tsuki getsu and gatsu and strokes of this kanji are like this ichi ichi ni ichi ni san yo and the meanings of this kanji are if we are writing it alone it means it would be read as suki which means the moon a month if you are writing as suffix which means ichi gatsu january if we are writing it as prefix then it would be getsu yobi monday and it means again we are using it as suffix it means ikagetsu and kanji of ki kunyomi and onyomi of this kanji is ki and moku boku strokes of this kanji are ichi ichi ni ichi ni san ichi ni san yo 
and uh, this kanji has three meanings there would be a lot of meanings but uh, we are talking about only three so these are the meanings ki if you are writing it alone it means ki a tree if you are using it as a prefix with mura it means ki mura a japanese surname and if we are using it with yobi which would be come moku yobi which means thursday so thank you guys i hope you will like this video then please subscribe the channel like the video share it with your friends and don't forget to drop the comments in the video if you have any suggestion or any mm, review about this video sayonara mina san ja mata oyasumi nasai arigatou gozaimasu